Hi Aquarius. Welcome to your soulmate reading for January. I have some sage burning over here and I thought it was going to die down by now and it's been burning for like 10 minutes. So that's like the little smoke that you see like in the corner of the screen. Um, I wanted to remind you guys that your birthday special is now available. So you get $50 off of the one hour live reading. You can either get it live or recorded. I do FaceTime, Skype, Google Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, however we need to connect, we can. Um, and again, you can do it also um, as a recorded reading if needed, if you're in a country where it's just easier to do that, like Australia, since you guys are a whole day and a half ahead of me, <clears throat> sometimes it's easier to get it recorded. So um, the way the soulmate reading works is we look into your soulmates, headspace, heart space, environment, and the energy that's between the two of you with oracle cards. And if you would like to get the extended, you can get it three different ways on Vimeo. You can go to my website or you can become a patron on Patreon where you can get all of the extendeds. Um, there's also an option to get twin flame readings, meditations, and stuff like that. And there will be more content added there as we go along. Um, I just started that a couple weeks ago, so I'm slowly building the content up on there. So, um, and all of that information is in the description box. Let's get to your reading, Aquarius's soulmate's headspace for January. Joy and stability. This is the four of wands. So your soulmate's really thinking about home and what that value is and what it means to them and i feel like they're feeling extremely comfortable within their home even if there are some issues that have come up recently within your relationship or the energy between you guys um they're genuinely feel i feel like they're they're kind of contemplating like what does home really mean for me what is sorry i gotta scoot up a little bit because i'm super short <clears throat> and i felt far away from the table probably didn't look like i was but i felt like it um, so I feel like they're, they're kind of, you know, a lot of times we get into, um, situations where it's like home is where the heart is. So if you're not feeling really comfortable in your environmental space of what home might be, it's like wherever I go, that's, man, that smoke is just coming in there. Sorry about that. It'll die off eventually. So I feel like they're kind of, they're, they may be evaluating what home means to them, reevaluating what home means to them. Um, in their heart space is detach. And this is actually the justice card in the traditional tarot. So finding some kind of balance within their life is a really big deal right now. You could be dealing with a Libra energy. Um, but this is also kind of like a non-attachment. Like when we go, like non-attachment is actually a really good thing. And, and a lot of people think that it's kind of a selfish move on other people's parts. But when you detach yourself from expectations or certain outcomes or being with certain people or certain situations, that's the easiest way to manifest because then you're allowing, man, my nose itches really bad, you guys. I think this always happens in your readings. Um, all the channeling. So, um, yeah, the non-attachment helps you manifest things because when you're, you're not expecting an outcome to come out the way that you want it to, you're giving space for the universe to work in your life. Okay. So let's see what's going on in your soulmate's environment. Oh, I love it. So we have giving and receiving. So this is the Six of Pentacles. And sometimes the Six of Pentacles can ask us, you know, where are we placing our energy? Are we giving it to people, places, and things that are that are giving back to us? Um, this is also that balance that the Justice card is giving your soulmate. So um, if there is that equal give and take that's going on between the two of you, or if you are detached from each other or in separation right now, there's a need to kind of evaluate where am I giving my energy out to in my environment? Where am I giving my energy out to in my 3D world? Is it benefiting me or is it making my life a little harder? Um, so I feel like they're trying to find an even balance within their life right now. Let's see 
what the energy is between the two of you. There we go. So we have judgment. Blossom. It's called blossom in this deck. Sorry. I always do that. <laughs> So this is the judgment card between the two of you. So there is a call to action. There's something that needs to take place. It's also very karmic, especially because we have the justice card here as well. It feels like they're like the balance that's taking place within the energy between the two of you. And um, what needs to occur is extremely karmic. Um, so you might be going through a karmic cycle. This is the major arcana that's like right before the world. And the world is the very last major arcana where you're completing a cycle. So I feel like you guys are coming to a point where you're completing a cycle between the two of you or within your energy. And it's so you can you can begin to balance out your life. And I feel like your, your soulmate is really feeling that where um, the karmic retribution, the karmic balance is starting to happen or really needs to happen within your energy. Okay, Aquarius. So again, if you would like to get the extended, all of the options are below. And don't forget about your birthday reading special. Um, that I started that early because February is a short month. So I wanted to give you guys all the opportunities to be able to get your birthday special. I love you all. I will see you for your 2019 readings, which I am going to finish this month, I promise. And I will also see you for February readings. Yours will be first in a couple of days. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.